Hello and welcome to our short presentation of Barcode Check, an iPhone app which was designed uh, to check especially ERN128 and ERN data matrix barcodes if they are compliant to uh, given, uh, given standards. So Barcode Check uh, consists of a total of five um, areas you see that in the in the bottom so we we have the IE list which is the uh, application identifier list and uh, it will show you all important information about specifications and restrictions of uh, application identifiers the next point is um, the printing option Okay, barcode check doesn't really print barcodes, but we will show you how to print compliant labels um, with with other software packages, and we explain that a bit in detail. On the scanner, the third item, um, you could with that option you can scan any other barcodes. Uh, we are supporting most standard barcodes. And it's just a pure scanning. It's not a validation of content or something. It's uh, just to check uh, any any other barcode. And on the next two items, EN 128 and EN Data Matrix, there uh, we're going into the, the really the validation process. We are checking content of data, and you will find detailed informations as well as uh, uh, email reporting there. So okay, let's start. Let's start with the application identifier list. And if you go in here, you see uh, that there are lots, really lots of application identifiers with the uh, ERN 128 standard. And you have, uh, for example, here you have 00, which is uh, the serial shipping container code. You have the the uh, G10 global trade item number and lots of others. Um, I think it's the at the moment we're covering more than 130 um, uh, identifiers. In in this area, you can see on the top right it's the uh, the name of this identifier, which should be printed on labels as barcode readable uh, as readable uh, text. So in that case, it's G10, and this is always English. And uh, below that, you have the the name of this application identifier, which is in, in the language where the app is set to. And in the bottom, you have informations we have collected based on the given standards, um, what we know, what you have to take care of in regards to this application identifier. And this is a, a short and compressed form uh, without looking through uh, 400 or 500 pages of uh, documentation. In the bottom, you can see uh, some important properties. Uh, if this identifier has a very length or is checked digit there, or if it if it's must be numeric or could be alphanumeric and things like that. Um, there you have also there a zoom button with the plus sign uh, and if you tap on that you can see that you have these informations as well uh, a bit larger and in the bottom you have the structure of this application identifier as as an image and you can tap on that and then you have the image uh, zoomed out and you can see that a little bit better and going back then that's um, everything for the application application identifier list. And if you go back to the main menu, the second item here, uh, the second item is uh, printing. And if we click on that, as printing usually uh, requires that you have connection to your ERP system where all the data you need to print are uh, stored and you have lots of um, really label printers or print and apply systems where you need to print to 
so this is not our uh, uh, focus for this app so we have added a link to our partner prism solutions with their software package prism design which is especially created for this kind of job and you can uh, go to the website with that link and then you can download a 30-day uh, trial version and we have explained here a little bit in detail how to really create an ERN128 or ERN data matrix label with this software package. At the end you will find some additional information about barcodes uh, in common. So everybody who is interested in some, some shortcut barcode information, you can see it there. Going back to the main menu, then uh, we have there the scanner option. And if, you if I turn that on, then you can see it's uh, uh, you have a camera view and you can scan uh, a barcode. And now we what we're doing here is uh, we're just checking a QR code. QR code is mainly uh, for spreading uh, website links and uh, marketing information through the world. <laughs> And uh, this is here where we have stored a uh, link to the Prism Solution website with that barcode. You can, with this option, uh, you can uh, really scan most common barcodes, ERN13, code 93, code 39, uh, Interleaf 205, and st stuff like that. The other buttons here, you have the restart button just restarts triggering the scanning engine and here on the top right you have uh, the lighting of uh, the icon you can switch on the lighting or switch it off okay if we go back to the main menu and now we go to the EN 128 um, button and this will read and validate so I have here um, a barcode label that was quite fast and I go down and just scan this uh, barcode here and if it's scanned uh, you have the the print button or print icon activated uh, which means you are uh, this process scanning process finished and you can see in the bottom that we also show you special characters in curly brackets. This is very important by this kind of barcodes because uh, no other scanners really show you these special characters. And if you click on the printer button to go uh, do the barcode check process, and here you see uh, this is the result. So in this case, um, we have the FNC1 character, which is uh, the, the, the most important one because it makes out of a code 128 an EN128. So this is required to just see that it's an EN128 barcode. And now we have some others. We have the, the G10, uh, we have the product weight, we have the quantity, and we also have a check digit here. And uh, this uh, could be also sent per email to an email recipient. So if you click on the uh, send to button, then it comes up uh, with an email. And then within that email, you have all the informations you have the, the image, you have the data content, you have the identifiers with the uh, structure images, everything you which what was contained in your barcode is here and you could send that to, to any email address you like. Okay, if, if you click on one of these items, um, for convenience we have also added this blue info button in the top right and if you click on that you can see the structure of this identifier uh, so that you don't need to to leave this area and go back to the identifier list and if we just click again 
we come back to the text which shows all information for identifier O2 in that case. Good, if we go on back and we need to go back to the main menu for the second scan and now we want for sure scan something which is not okay or at least a warning. If I go on back again and scan another barcode. Okay, here's the result. And um, if you click on the printer icon to do the validation process, and then you see oh, a lot of green, uh, like expected, but here's an error, 15. And 15 is um, the production date, or best before date, sorry, best before date. And if you click on the structure, you can see, okay, this is year, year, month, month, day, day. And what it was scanned is 140229. So it's 29th of February in 2014. And even this year, we do not have 29th of February. So this is definitely a wrong date. And this is uh, figured out by the app. And you can send this result as well by email uh, to your mail address or whatever. So going back and now we just have left off the EN Datamatic scanner, which is quite similar to the N128, if I click that on. And then you have, uh, you can just uh, uh, scan the data matrix barcode. And then you have the same check procedure button or the printer icon and you can see oh it's every everything green here with one one which is yellow which is just a warning it is n does not affect readability or anything for your label that's that's okay but there is in that case it was um, uh, the quantity and if you go on on the structure it's from one to eight digits so so the scanner must know how long your quantity is in that case it's four digits it's o 120 and so that means we need a uh, separator character and by definition that this must be an fmc1 character but in that case it's a group separator gs um, it's but this is okay because uh, the definition also says that if there is an FMC1 character, we need to transform it to a GS uh, if it comes out of the barcode reader. So for, for, the, for the, the end user, let's say, it doesn't make any difference if there is a GS or an FMC1. So this is the reason why it's yellow and not red. Good. And then if we go in back to the, to the main menu, and we are just left open the small icons on the top and the first one is our disclaimer because we need to say that this one is a tool for checking data content of these barcodes and you if you if you want to have a, a valid industry report if your barcode is correct you need to also check uh, print conditions and contrast values and stuff like that you can't do that with barcode check you need to go to the uh, responding to the authorities to get a report like this. The second one is the add sign, which allows you to enter a default email address for the reports, reports. And then uh, everything you enter here, you don't need to enter any time you, you send a report. It will always use this address. The third one is the speaker icon where you can sw swatch swap <laughs> between uh, a ping tone you can vi switch the vibration on or you can switch the sound completely off and uh, the next one is language so you can either uh, as well also change to german it's only in german and english and the last one is uh, the online help and here you, can f you will find all these items and uh, explained a lot more in, in detail. And if you, if you change the language to German and going back in here, it's 
than in German. So the reporting language and the app language will change if you switch the language button. So now and then I'm finished. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for, for your time and goodbye.